So, a brand new game recently came out, and it has blown up ever since its release. Content for this game quickly took over all social media, and I'm sure you've guessed it by now, but the game I'm talking about is Power World. Little disclaimer before I ramble on, I'm making this video solely to throw my opinions out there about what I think is the real reason Power World blew up. It's not to argue or claim anything, it's just me unpacking my thoughts and opinions from my brain. This video will be split up into chapters to make following and skipping between topics even easier for you guys. So feel free to agree or disagree with anything I have to say in this video in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe as that will give me a much needed hit of dopamine and without further ado, let's get on with the video. Power World was developed and released as an early access title on January 19th of 2024 by Pocket Pair Incorporated. Since its release, the game has broken 19 million sales between Steam and Xbox. Hey, that's pretty good. It quickly jumped to the peak of the Steam charts for top sellers and most played games. It's only second place in Steam's all-time peak with over 2 million concurrent players, only beaten by the legend that was PUBG Battlegrounds. which by the way reached almost three and a quarter million concurrent players six years ago. The game was clearly a huge success, more than anyone including the developers would have ever dreamed of. But why and how? When I and many others saw this game, it really just felt like a meme due to the in-game creatures or pals looking very similar to Pokemon in design and concept. And then that combined with extremely different gameplay just made it seem like wild. Like it was pretty much Pokemon War Crime Edition at this point. Don't get me wrong though, I'm not trying to claim anything negative about Power World or its success. I'm not trying to sound like I don't think it deserves success or claim that, you know, it's just pretty, it's just another knockoff copy of Pokemon or whatever. I don't really care about that claim or side of the story so i don't really want to hear it i believe it's a good game as a matter of fact a great game honestly granted it's early access but let's be real every game is early access nowadays in 2024 aside from the bugs and silly quirks that the game has it's well designed and it's mainly functioning uh, with good graphics and good gameplay and even greater amounts of content but the same can really be said about a lot of other games that have come out in the past few months or even years that have seen nowhere near the amount of success that Power World has. So what, what made Power World's release so different than the rest? What caused Power World to blow up and other games to meet their early demise? Well, first, to better understand why I think Power World saw so much success, I think we need to look at the current state that gaming is at. I believe the instant success and explosion in popularity from Power World stems from something deeper than just it being a good game. That something deeper being the current state the gaming industry is in. Over the last decade, the landscape of gaming has to really shifted and changed and in my opinion, for the worse. Now, I don't want you to get this confused with the time period of the world, society, and our lives as all these things have undoubtedly changed in the last decade as well. This isn't just missing being a kid without a care in the world playing Call of Duty games or any games like Castle Miner Z or Happy Wars. It's clear that currently almost every community has some kind of underlying division or issues with their respective game and company. Just to point out a few, Escape for Tarkov for one is constantly divided between the whole casual versus hardcore argument, realism versus fun. Most of its players are upset with the developer's pattern of ignoring huge issues like cheaters going rampant or game breaking bugs as they just focus on making new content and not fixing the current content within their game. Rust, Apex Legends and Rainbow Six Siege all have player bases that don't feel heard as their games become something that they don't even recognize. Destiny 2, a game that I really love personally, progressively focusing more on monetization features above all else, dividing paid content up and failing to address the massive issue with original content that has been vaulted aka pretty much obliterated and removed from the game with no comments on when or if they will even ever return to the player base. Clearly game companies have been far from in touch with their player bases for a while now. The game industry is now being treated more like a business than it ever has with that translating to them putting players and their player experience much lower in the list of priorities when development is taking place. Of course I'm not trying to make some grand claim that Oh, all developers don't care about players anymore. No developer cares about making a good, fun game anymore. I'm not saying any of that. Of course, there's developers out there that love their job and they want to make cool and awesome worlds and content for, for people to play on. But gaming just really hasn't been the same for a while now that they are developed to try to keep you coming back and buying content or microtransactions. 
All I have to say, we are no longer viewed as players, but as consumers. And that sucks. And all of this is the reason why I believe Power World exploded in popularity and saw the incredible success shortly after its release. Because Power World is fun. Period. Whenever I play Power World, or I watch streamers playing it, or I watch the content for online, I just think about how serious and open the game really is. Power World is a good looking, easy to understand and easy to play little goofy game that anybody can pick up and everyone will know how to play or how to learn. It's fun and it's a silly little world that was clearly created with the intention of just being fun for the player. There's nothing intense or crazy about the game. There's nothing hard about the game. The player has full control of his own experience with the game, not only through them being free to explore and do as they please in a large open world, but having the ability to change and customize the settings and difficulty to whatever they want to tailor their own experience, which a lot of games seem to have forgotten about. It released with instant support for custom dedicated server hosting through Steam, which speaks great volumes for developers having the player's experience as a higher priority. Power World reminds me of what gaming should be. Fun experiences for the players, doing cool stuff, making memories with your friends. It truly reminds me of the good old days of gaming. And because of that, compared to most of what we have now, not saying that all games is trash or anything like that, but just not the same. And Power World takes you back to the old roots of gaming, in my opinion. That's about all I had to spew from my head about Power World and the gaming landscape right now. If you've heard all of my yapping to the very end or skipped to my final thoughts of the video, I really appreciate you and I hope you've heard something interesting. Let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments. Like and share the video if you found it or anything in it interesting. And consider subscribing if you wouldn't mind sticking around for more content or maybe future videos like this one. Again, thank you for watching. I hope, really hope you enjoyed the video. And God bless you and adios. Peace out. Yeah,